section here then is mocking up what it's like on the side of Mount Kirkpatrick where our dinosaur fossils are from. So this is about 12 and a half thousand feet on the side of uh, Kirkpatrick. And aside from the fossils, are you finding bone? Oh yeah. This is the left femur of Carlovasaurus. This was actually what was originally found in 1990. It was the geologist David Elliott. The paleontologists were actually, my old mentor Bill Hammer, they were down the hill somewhere else. This guy was actually mapping rock units. He was interested in the, the younger rocks that record when Gondwana broke apart, the volcanic rocks. But he was sitting down having lunch and couldn't help but notice this sticking out of the wall. And this is kind of a, a different thing about how we find fossils and work on fossils in Antarctica. A lot of it is the same anywhere else in terms of we need to go places where the rocks are exposed to the surface of the right age, the right environment. But in Antarctica, because it's a desert, because you're not getting precipitation, because it's not warm enough for water to kind of leach into the rock, it doesn't kind of expand those clays and break things apart. Right. So you have outcrop that's not, doesn't have that kind of popcorn-y, pebbly texture like the Badlands do. Right, right, um, right. So everything at the surface is just as hard as the rock underneath. So you can find things that, instead of being broken all apart, they're all completely articulated. It blows me point. away because most people don't realize that it's a desert down there, essentially. They don't understand that. And I, and I know for myself, I learned it on this film. And then we mocked up, yeah, these are the, you know, and they're not just toys, right? We actually took the, the real bodies from an old steel rock saw and a, and a Hilti electric jackhammer. That's great. That's great. Uh, after we've drilled those holes, we're, we're dropping down these little feathers and then a wedge, and then it's just good old fashioned, you know. Brute force. Power, yeah. yeah, exactly. And hopefully, hopefully it kind of cracks along that plane that you want to get it to split on. Those are amazing. What are these called? So these are the, the wedges, and then the, the little splints on the side are the feathers to help um, drive it in and spread it. Drive it and spread it. Wow, that's amazing. And the rock doesn't always cooperate. 